Welcome to the demonstration video for the Teen Coder Windows and Game Programming course. In this short video, we will show you some of the things that your student can accomplish in this course. The Teen Coder C Sharp Online Year Pack contains our first semester Teen Coder Windows Programming course and the second semester Teen Coder Game Programming course in one online integrated year-long course. All of our courses come with self-study student course material. This material is designed to make your students really enjoy their computer experience. Students will use their course material and a computer to complete hands-on activities in each chapter. Now, this combination of text and hands-on experience lets them see their work come to life. Don't have computer experience yourself? No problem. We have solution guides and files which give you everything you need to assist your student as they work through the course. Each of our online courses contain automatically graded lesson quizzes and chapter tests so you can easily track your students' progress. Our teacher material contains quiz and test answer keys and complete solution guides for each of your students' projects. Worried that computer programming might be too hard for your student? Watch as we create a program in just a few seconds. So here I have the Visual C Sharp 2010 Express software open and I have a screen shown here. And I'm just going to add a button to it. So I'm going to click on button and drag it to the screen and make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to change the text to say, what's today? When I click on the form, you'll see it changes the text. Now I want to add some code to this button. So I'm going to double click on it. And I'm going to just add a simple message box. And the message box is going to say today is, and then we're going to pull the current time from the computer by using something called date time dot now. And we're going to get the day of the week. So that is day of week. And that's all we need to do to see the current day of the week. So to run the program, I'm going to press on the play button. You see the program run. I click on the button and it tells me that today is Monday. So that's how easy it is to create a program in C Sharp. In the second semester, your student will use their C Sharp skills to create video games. Your student will learn about object movement, how to detect collisions between objects, how to create 2D image animations, simple game physics like bouncing and reflection, and how to simulate wind and gravity on projectiles in a game program. Now let's take a look at some of the actual games that your student will work on during this course. Our student materials contain detailed guidance on every programming step. The Swarm game is based on the Space Invaders game. The student will complete this game over the course of several chapters. Here we will teach the concepts of movement, collision, animation, and sound. The Snowball Fight game is used to teach students how to use game physics concepts like velocity and gravity on projectiles in a game program. The Star Racer game uses multiple viewports and camera angles to allow more than one player to play the game side by side. The student will also explore the concepts of artificial intelligence as they create a computer opponent for the game. The final project for this course is a game called Bumper Cars. The student will demonstrate their knowledge of sprites, movement, game physics, and artificial intelligence during directed activities for the final chapter. Our courses include instructional videos that cover every chapter and lesson. While these video lessons are not a replacement for reading the text lessons, they are ideal for students who learn better with audio-visual reinforcement of the material. Each video lasts around 5 to 10 minutes and will describe the lesson concepts with graphics, animation, and live action video. 
If you need any more information, or if you have additional questions, you can contact us through our website by clicking on the contact link at the top of our homepage. We're always happy to answer questions via email as well. Thanks for watching.